All right. Uh, again, we are on a dud channel, unfortunately. We do have three channels at the moment. The regular underground broadcast, the emergency broadcast, which we're doing it right now. And then we do have the illegal broadcast channel for all you motherfuckers. Again, the underground, the emergency one is where we're broadcasting temporarily live. Is the emergency broadcast channel. Uh, we'll keep it as the emergency in case we keep getting banned. We'll keep coming back to this to stream live. But the illegal underground broadcast channel is where we've been watching, uh, illegal pay-per-views. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't realize, but Gomer Kyle is here. Let me hit it for this motherfucker. Cheers, Gomer. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pyle. Private Pyle, I'm going to give you three seconds. To wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! One, two, three! Shazam! Gomer says he didn't get a notification. Oh, big surprise. YouTube doesn't like us. Why? Because we're different and we speak the truth. So they, they try to do everything to sabotage this channel. That's why we only have 500 subscribers. Fuck you, YouTube. Anyways, we don't even come out of searches. You put underground broadcast, some other fucking guy comes out and doesn't even have nothing to do with being underground or broadcasting. Son of a bitch. Anyways, the illegal underground broadcast where we've been watching wrestling pay-per-views. And me and Gomer and Super Saiyan Joku, uh, thank you guys for showing up. Last Sunday, we watched WrestleMania night one and night two, WrestleMania 40. And in two weeks, we will be watching... AEW Dynasty, Sunday, April 21st at 6 p.m. on the Illegal Underground Broadcast channel for you guys, you motherfuckers. And uh, the way we show, I show it is basically about that size the screen is. Uh, and it's not going to get any bigger. And there's usually moving graphics in front of it. So, you know, you still see it, son of a bitch. Don't complain. And if you want, I just can give you the link on the chat and you can watch it in your computer or whatever. You can get, get all the viruses. I'm taking the risk. Uh, using my VPN, I'm getting all the viruses for you. Shit, no sound. But yeah, we're gonna watch this ass. Might be, you know, the last paper. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, the last pay per view a AEW ever does. Now, Tony Khan has a lot of fucking money. And as long as he doesn't get bored with his little toy, there'll be an AEW. Uh, you know, it's the way it is. But we'll talk about that more tonight because it's in the news, fellas. Some, some, some stuff. I actually got some wrestling pop culture shit for you tonight. Uh, make sure you watch these channels. Make sure you keep out and look out next Sunday. And I know you don't get notifications, so just go to the channel and look for... Uh, if you go to the main page on the main channel, which is the Underground Broadcast channel, I'll have whatever live stream's coming up. It'll be up there. Even if it's from another channel, I'll have it up there. So you can just go to that link. Uh, but I'll be there next Sunday, the 21st, for you motherfuckers. Uh, we'll chill again. Uh, tonight's show, we do have, finally, some Daredevil shit that I was supposed to show you last week, but I'm so drunk and high, I forgot. I'm also going to review the X-Men 97, which I gotta tell you, uh, was really, really fucking good. And then, uh, we got some other, some shit from CinemaCon. They showed a lot of ass to people, and we can't finish without your local celebrity ass of the week. You know how that's done. Uh, so get ready for that tonight. Uh, but let's get on with the motherfucking show, and we're gonna start with the goddamn comments like we do. Uh, anything you send me to social medias, uh, I will post here. Son of Man 665 for Twitter and the Underground Broadcast with underscores for uh, fucking uh, Instagram and shit. And then it just disappeared right now because I'm drunk and high. But anyways, uh, here are the comments. <laughs> We're going to start with, uh, oh, this one was last week's. Sorry about that. Hound Dog 3476 on the Dan Danny Masterson started a gang in jail. Uh, he put ha 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 ha. Oh, and by the way, I don't know that. All of a sudden, that that's a two week video already, because that wasn't even from last week. That was from the week before, and uh, all of a sudden, this video goes viral. I don't know why it took so long. Everybody's every day, up still till now. People are watching that fucking video. I don't know why. Uh, people like hide, I guess, uh, or whatever. Uh, but that, thanks for commenting, Hound Dog, uh, and putting ha ha ha. Cheers. Got a bandana on and a beard. Hey, maybe you mean you can start a tag team res wrestling uh, team, Hound Dog. Hit me up. Yo, yo, yo. We could be like the Briscoes, except you know I'm the woke one of the two. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, Lilier? Li li Lilar? I don't know how to say his name. Lilier? Or Lilar Blaster 3416. Until Danny Masterson has started a gang in jail. He puts a bottle of laughing emojis and, and, and some cheers. Cheers, motherfucker. All right. Oh, I'm the Danny Masterson again. Like I said, this video went viral and shit this week. All late. He says, I don't think so. They shipped him from the hole in Koran Kor to a psychiatric station because he didn't want to leave his cell and said repeatedly that he was meant he has mental issues. Uh, read the, read the, pause the video when you start it and read the warning in the beginning. Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know the facts. We know the jits of it. And we make up everything in between. That's how this channel works. All right. Fuck you. Cheers. Thank you for commenting, Pedro. We love you. For being Mexican. Or maybe you're white and you're just choosing to be called Pedro. And in that case, you're just being racist. Cheers to you either way. You like Tessa Blanchard? Oh, yeah. I could be like Tessa Blanchard. No, that Tessa Blanchard is way bigger than me. And hotter, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a big chin. Like that and shit. What happened to her? She just disappeared ever since she said the N-word to that chick. <laughs> she was on the way to WE and AW. And then that's it. One little N-word and you're gone. It's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. She should do OnlyFans. I don't know what her problem is. Just do porn. Hit me up. You know, I'll be the other model. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Blanchard. Damn, a lot of people commented on this one. I'm only going to read the first one. I'm going to read everybody's. No, everybody else is replying to him. God damn it. So many replies. How dare you, buddy? And I think that's the picture of, um, what's this guy's name? This is from, uh, uh, Big Daddy. I think it's called Big Daddy. Um, damn it, I forget this fucking guy's name. Uh, but yeah, he's got his eyes crossed. He played the, the homeless, no, he didn't play the, it was Mr. Deeds. He didn't play them. he played a, a crazy guy with great, great, crazy eyes or some shit like that. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm going to hate myself for not knowing this guy's name. I'm thinking too much. I'm, I'm, I'm already stoned. Anyways, how dare you, buddy, on the Danny Masterson started a gang video says, What the fuck is this? Is this guy for real? You're the son of man, and you're watching the underground broadcast, motherfucker. Cheers! I know it's a little jarring when you first see this, but understand this is the year 2024. You better get used to this kind of shit. It's going to be all over your place. In your schools, your libraries, your churches, your fucking grocery stores, and your bathrooms and shit. Get ready. Cheers. Steve Buscemi, thank you very much, Gomer. I'm going to get you, a, whenever we make it, I'm going to get you as a producer. You're going to be the guy shooting me the shit right here. You're going to be the Vince McMahon. Uh, you're going to be like, Steve Buscemi, son. Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi, yeah. That's how it's going to be. It's going to be badass. Don't worry, Gomer. You get paid minimum wage from my state, not from yours. Cheers. Uh, Jeffrey Atkins. Oh! 4760 on the Danny Masterson. What the hell is even that? Uh, it's a Scientologist guy that drugged and uh, sexually molested and raped women. Some of them that were even his girlfriends. And when you have a girlfriend, do you really have to drug her to, to have sex with her? I mean, I guess he wanted to rape her, and he couldn't rape her if she was awake. I guess that's understandable. Pretty fucked up. That guy belongs in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, Jeffrey Atkins. Thank you for commenting, and I like your avatar because it's like two faces of himself blended into one, and it looks like he's got three eyes. 
Oh, cheers. Uh, I think it, he on the Son of Man reads YouTube comments. Jeffrey Atkins put, "What the fuck is this?" All right, all right, anybody explain this, you sons of bitches? I mean, all you gotta do is read the descriptions on the channel or go and re pause the video in the beginning. If you don't, you don't quite understand what the fuck is happening. Uh, don't hurt your eyes and shit. Don't hurt your souls. That's why I put you shouldn't be watched by anyone. Period. All right. A lot of sensitive people nowadays. Hey, he put it again. What the fuck is this? All right, I'm, I'm just gonna skip you. You're just putting the same comment in all the videos. All right, anyways, try to be original, motherfucker. Here's another guy, Doobie Keebler, on the Danny Masterson video. Like I said, the video went viral. <clears throat> he quotes me that I said, and everyone passes him the ball. As I was saying, Danny Masterton, everybody wants to be his friend. They choose him to be on his team and they pass him the ball. And he puts, also, Vatos Masterson for live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Doobie Keebler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a crazy motherfucker. Mm -mm. Cheers, y'all. Happy Friday. Just, just getting started, man. I think I've been sober all day and shit. I had a really good day. I made a lot of money the past week. Mm. That's all life is about, making money. Oh, well, America. American life is about making money. Oh, and fucking bitches. Little Wayne said it. Fuck bitches. Get money. Fuck bitches. Get money. If you don't live by that, you're not American. You dumbass. Cheers, Doobie Keebler. Uh, also on the Danny Masterson started a gang, this guy named Tan Barrett. Oh, you're insane. And he puts a bunch of laughing faces. This guy's like an army or Marine. Or that could have just been a crazy uh, fucking Saturday night. But it's just him and a bunch of guys in fucking uniforms and shit. That's badass. Either way, it's badass. Whatever it is you're getting into with those guys. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Tamboretto. 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 I don't know how to say it. I'm just trying to say it. Cheers, motherfucker. And thank you for serving this great country. You better not be lying. You're in the fucking forces, son of a bitch. Uh, on the Danny Master Sid video, some guy, user, go 7z, whatever, a bunch of fucking random characters, probably a bot. Uh, but no, I don't think it's a bot because this is a too intelligent of a fucking comment. But he puts, um, you took the Pirates of the Caribbean look too far, man. And I actually want to read one of the replies. Somebody named Pink Freud. <laughs> 62 put woke June Sparrow. Oh, I, I like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I always wanted to. If I was, I wanted to go to Disney with an idea of the next Pirate of the Caribbean movie would be like I would be. Uh, Jack Jack Sparrow finds out he has a son, a son from what was that chick with? He was Penelope Cruz or something. He fucked her or something, and, and he had a son, and he, she never told him, and so he goes in looking for him. And then he finds me in a burlesque house and shit with a bunch of hookers. And I'm there and shit with makeup on. And then like this. And then he finds out that I'm his woke son. Pirate son. Oh, cheers. That'd be badass. I wanted to go to Disney since doing the woke shit. I'm like, that'd be perfect. I'd be like Jock Sparrow Jr. But I'm Mexican because he fucked that Mexican chick. I'm the son and shit. He comes looking for his long lost son in a whorehouse. In a Mexican fucking island somewhere in Cuba and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, dude, June Sparrow. I'm gonna have to. Hey, can I borrow that fucking Pink Freud? I'm gonna put that in my script. It, it, I'll be in June. June Sparrow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where do you have all the tattoos and shit? Yo, it'll be badass. I just say, it, just say. It would be too, it's too, it's, I think it would be too woke for Disney. It's too woke. They will not go for it. They, they're they trying to go just a little bit of woke. Annoying kind of woke, but not, they want to go full woke because 
They're not ready for that kind of shit. Anyways, cheers, user! And that other guy, Pink Freud. Alright, let's see who else. Uh, Dan, USA 1, on the Danny Masterson. Man, this host is funny. Awesome! Hey, you better not be a bot, because I was like, what the fuck is... Like, I went into this guy's channel, and he just made the account, like, in January. I hope this isn't a bot, because, it's, like, he's saying... Or maybe he's being sarcastic. Fuck yeah. You know, I'm just saying. Hey, you know what? His name's Dan USA 1. What if this is Danny Masterson from jail? Oh, holy shit. He's watching us. Oh, cheers, Dan USA. Danny Masterson from jail. Watching us right now. Cheers. <clears throat> Hook me up with some Scientologist bitches. Come on, man. I know you got him. Just say. I need another beer. I'm done with this motherfucker. Let me see. I need to show you all. Rack him up, rack him up. Pulling up from my ass chest right here. Uh, I don't want to break a nail, so I got to use an actual thing here to open it. Cheers! All right. Next is, uh, no, ma'am. Oh, no, ma'am. Let me hit it for this misogynist rapist. No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. He put a timestamp. I, I heard it. I was thinking of doing what he who should not be named used to do, but I'm just going to click on it live. I don't give a fuck. I don't know when to stop it anyways. So uh, here we go. Let's see uh, what he wanted you all to hear that I said last week. Oh, fucker. This guy has no... There's no saving. No saving face for this asshole. For this pervert. And this sexual molester. Motherfucker hangs out with no man, I bet. Anyways. <laughs> Alright. Uh, he said, Freaking son of man. I'm seriously considering changing my YouTube name now. Cheers. Hashtag. Cheers, no ma'am. Y'all motherfuckers know I just fuck around with all of y'all. Don't ever take anything I say serious. Gomer, Joku, no ma'am. All you motherfuckers. Even the, even the haters in the comments. I love you. All of you. Why? Because you're me. That's why. So cheers. To all of you. And all of me. I just fucking around, no ma'am. I know you're not a rapist and a, and a molester of women. I hope not. And if you are, you better quit your ways, you son of a bitch, or you're gonna get end up in jail with the rest of them. Teddy Masterson and shit. I'm just saying. Cheers, no ma'am. I love you. Thank you for being, uh, commenting. It's been a while. I think you, you, you shown up in a live a long time ago. Cheers, man. I appreciate you guys who, who comment and don't show up. Woke Packers. Ah, speaking of a woke Packer, he just fucking Satanist. Rocco, fuck my life. Let me hit it for the Satanist. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. Rocco, fuck my life, says. Holy shit, son of man. Uh, he's talking about the Denny Masterson video. This video has over a thousand views. You did it. You've gone viral. He puts a lot of laughing faces. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. And fuck you, Rocco. Talking shit. <laughs> yeah, we did. We went viral over a thousand views and shit. Um, and a lot of comments. Some haters. I think we'll see a few of them coming up. A few of them down below, we already said, what the fuck is that? Well, I mean, you don't worry about what it is. Just watch it. Eat it. It'll make your stomach sick. But after you shit it out, you're going to feel good. And you're going to want more. 
So don't worry about it. Cheers, Rocco. Fuck my life. I love you. He also says on the podcast video or whatever. Uh, I used a bunch of laughing emojis. I used to come on here for the comic book stuff, but my favorite segments are now the celebrity ass. Funny shit, son of man. Cheers to the woke pack. Hashtag. Woke pack. Oh, 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 live. Cheers, Rocco. Thank you for that. And, and all the woke pack. Thank you. You dick. Oh, um, uh, Anthony Timmons, the motherfucker is becoming a regular commenter on the Diddy's past exposed video that I put. He says, he has always been part of Hollywood Perv Network, and the Illuminati is strong in this one. I don't trust any of these sickles. Fucking P. Did Diddler. Um, and then on the Miami, had an awesome, young Miami had a perfect job video anthony timmons says did he still diddling rapping and tapping yeah this motherfucker he came back from the caribbeans after they raided his houses he's living his life like the same he's still going to picking up little girls and shit pretty fucked up man he don't give a fuck but it's, it's gonna go down it's gonna go down just you wait you're getting away with it right now but he's not in court yet son of a bitch <laughs> cheers timmons thank you for commenting Oh, our resident Australian, the car. Let me hit it for this asshole. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slot ready, because the cunt is here. Cheers, cunt. He says on the young Miami at the perfect job video. Mammy talks like she got mouth of marbles. Uh, so dumb. I bet she mixed up coke with washing powder. Now she's going to jail. Probably you should audition for the city girl's son. You'd be perfect. Aud addition. Oh, that's the reality show, right? Yeah, yeah. No, but I think you need to be dating a celebrity. Someone famous, rich and famous and shit. And so far, nobody I fucking message on Instagram has DM reply to my direct messages my dms and shit i'm sending it to every every fucking celebrity i know man women trans unidentified non-binaries nobody's replied what the fuck's going on uh one of these days don't worry somebody's gonna reply you know i don't want to get that that desperate that i'm gonna fucking start you know messaging people like fucking rob schneider and shit or fucking andy dick or, you know Nick Schwartzin, bunch of lames like that. Fucking fuck that, you know? I'm trying to go up there, you know? Shit. Anyways, the cunt. Cheers. Thank you for commenting. The cunt also says when the Diddy comes back, the, his past comes back to, to, to haunt him. Diddy is the creature from the Bohemian Lagoon. Man, did he's way into geek philosophy. Greek philosophy. I bet he's got tricked out white van. <laughs> I can tell you from the evidence and the accusations, he, he, this is basically he's another Je Jeffrey Epstein. You know, like these girls are just the tip of the iceberg because he probably has a whole network of other girls that he's already got on drugs. That his son was bringing over through these high school parties and shit. And he's already fucking brought them for parties for rich celebrities and fucking record executives and, and, and anybody, anybody that went to Diddy's parties. And we're going to talk about this later on tonight. A bunch of names came out, all right? Or were already there this whole time. But I don't want to get into it right now. But I'll tell you, this is another, this is the black Jeffrey Epstein case. This, this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's going to get bad. And he's probably going to have to kill himself. Or let someone else do it for him. In order for the secrets to not be exposed. More than what they already are. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going. Cheers, cunt. Thank you for commenting. 
Oh yeah, dog on funny. Let me hit it for this dick. Woke as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woke as fuck. <laughs> Doug Unfunny on the Diddy uh, video, he says, That video with the girl he adopted is very disturbing. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is another Jeffrey Epstein case if there ever was one. Yeah, that's what I just said. I can't wait to see Hova go down for this, too. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Live. Uh, Jay-Z, bro. Uh, it depends whether Jay-Z ended up pissing somebody off or not. Uh, I don't know what's going on, bro. I think, uh, I, I, I have a feeling Jay-Z's next in line. Yeah. And Beyonce. All these motherfuckers. And Kanye knew this whole time. Nobody believes him because they think he's crazy. But he said it. We showed you last week. Anyways. Cheers, Mr. Doug Unfunny. Alright, I'm drinking too fast, you sons of bitches. Hang on. <sighs> Excuse me. J Hart W. <clears throat> Excuse me. He left a, a, a timestamp. Uh, let me click on it. See what I said. Some of these kids got paid off or signed an NDA. And got a lot of money and fame. Keenan Thompson came from Nickelodeon. Now he is on SNL. Rich and famous and shit. He says, I literally spat my drink out when you mentioned Keenan Thompson out of nowhere. You're a funny dude. Um, I'm just stating the facts. Keenan Thompson was in Nickelodeon. Now he's rich and famous. He was under all those shows and shit. What happened to all his other friends? They didn't get famous. Wonder why? What different thing did he do or accept that everyone else didn't? I don't know. Just putting it out there. All right. Yeah. What's up with that? What's up with that? Ooh, yeah. All right, I'm going to get copywritten. Ah, that's my favorite Keenan Thompson fucking skit for SNL. Ah, cheers, that motherfucker. And cheers to you, J Hart W. Thank you for commenting. Anthony Timmons, 9328. He says, Did Ari and the Ariana Grande took hush money? It doesn't surprise me. This is the same bitch that shit on her American fans. Screw him too. They can both get decommissioned. No worries here. Garbage human beings. This fucking guy. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, Ariana Grande is like, does she even make music? I don't even know. I mean, I don't. I never listened to any. I don't know what she does. I mean, I I'm, I'm, I don't think I've ever heard a song, and if I did, I wouldn't know it was her. <laughs> yeah, and I don't care enough, I guess. Yeah. All I know is this little girl, she came out in The Voice, and she's skinny and shit. Apparently, she's like a singer or something. Uh, and used to be a Nickelodeon, and uh, this guy, you know, licked her toes or some ass. It was crazy. You know, there's a bunch of accusations and allegations. But uh, thank you, Anthony Timmons, for the uh, for for that a uh, uh, little bit of uh, your two cents. Cheers, these sons of bitches. Um, Kit Kat forty five twelve, also in the Ariana Grande video. I often wonder why she left and disappeared. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. She's like. I, <laughs> I don't keep up with these kids, you know. I, I mean, like I said, that's not my generation. I don't know her music at all. Like the the, the only time I saw her ever was in The Voice, because I used to I uh, you know I used to watch The Voice back then. And I think she was on it or some ass, uh, and shit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Bunch of sick shit. Yeah, foot fetishes. Yeah, this guy likes foot. He told the little girl, walk on eggshells. Let me record it. That, that was your audition. Your audition. Like, you walk on eggshells. Here's a bunch of dog, dog shit. Walk on it. Step on it and squish it all over. Don't worry. I'm taking video games. Aren't you don't don't you want to say any lines or don't you want to don't you want to take a, a some video of my expressions? No, little girl, step on this dog shit and let me fucking take some video of your feet. You got the hot. You got the job. You're hired. You squished it just right. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kit Kat, uh, for that shit. You nasty son of a bitch. Um, on the Danny Masterson video, OG Capo, he says, I thought they kicked him off the Scientology team. Like, seriously, they disowned him. Yeah, we don't know all the facts. We just fill in the gaps. All right, motherfucker. I already explained it. Just look, read, read the description. Pause the video in the very beginning and read the message before anything else goes into your eyesight and your earlobes. You fucking guy. All right, but cheers, OG Capo, because that's a pretty cool. I don't know what your avatar is, but it looks dope as fuck, and uh, and your name's fucking OG, OG and Capo as fuck. So cheers. All right, Anthony Timmons, Jessica Alba joins uh Deadpool and Wolverine. Says Jessica Alba. Was one of the bright spots of my early Fantastic Four movies. Love Jessica Alba. I think she was everyone's favorite thing for those movies because those movies were like mid at and at very least, you know. They're better than some of the the new Marvel movies for sure, and they're better than everything that Fox ever made from the X Men. Um, but it was really like it was really to me because I, I can go back and watch them; they're watchable. But to me, it's almost like literally seeing what a cartoon, what a literal cartoon episode turned into live action would be. Like literally just whoosh. because it's really cartoonish. It, the kind of stuff that goes on and campy and stuff. But Jessica Alba just makes it perfect. Perfect. I'm not going to lie. When they first cast her, I was pissed. It was like, they got a Mexican girl. I was a little boy too. I was a little kid and I was pissed. They got a Mexican girl. What the fuck? Two storms white and she's blonde and shit. And they gave her blonde hair and blue contacts and shit. And I like these wow fucking racist, you know, but uh it was great. I loved her in it. I loved her in it and I wouldn't have it any other way for those movies. I can't wait to see her in Deadpool and, and fucking Wolverine and shit. Probably get killed, because that's supposed to be gonna happen to everybody. So cheers, Tim Ants. Thank you for that. Uh Joseph Galba shit. Um, fucking a new guy, Frank Furter, or Frank Futur. No, it is Furter. Frank Furter, twenty eight ninety one, on the reading the comments video. What the fuck is this thing? Well, if you read the title of the video, it says the Undergone Broadcast reading YouTube comments from March fifth, twenty twenty four. And if you read the fucking thumbnail, it says thank you to all subscribers. It's March 5th, 2024. Reading YouTube comments. Um I mean, if you don't know what video you're clicking on by the title and by the thumbnail, then maybe you shouldn't be on YouTube at all, Frank Furter. You dumbass. Cheers! Thank you for commenting. Fubar, 611. Oh, on Diddy's past, exposed. Wait till they find the puff booty tapes of Obama and Big Mike with Jay Z and Beyonce. Oh, my. Wait till they find they've already found them, my brother. All that's going to be evidence in court, or at the very least, a way to blackmail Diddy into committed suicide so none of this shit can be exposed. This is the same shit they did to Jeffrey Epstein and shit. This motherfucker was trying to run his own Jeffrey Epstein's uh, uh, blackmailing ring sting. And, uh, and now they're going to bring him down because 
Maybe he, he got somebody on tape in an orgy with a gay sex with a bunch of black men and, and a bunch of fucking black women naked watching them. Uh, but he got someone really, really important on a video. And they didn't like it, and they wanted the video back, and they said, well, we got to take this motherfucker down. And, now, and the, the guy was probably Jewish, too. Very powerful Jewish, rich as fuck. Uh, but now they're bringing down Diddy and his whole fucking blackmailing fucking sex indus industry that he was running and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay sex industry. Cheers, Fubar. Thank you for spitting some truth. Oh, and I think he's a Marine. I salute you, sir. And thank you for serving the country and shit. And killing anyone who opposes freedom in America. Cheers. All right. Uh, let's go. Ah, oh, bot. I think. I don't know. I, did, I, I, I forgot to go and look at this one. User, my 7TG, a bunch of fucking random fucking nonsense. On the PD, P Diddy. He says, y'all are sick for this one. Hey, well, thank you, motherfucker. We try to do our best on this channel. Cheers, user. <sighs> on the Danny Masterson <clears throat> video. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Jim Bowen, 38533. It's called the Butt Buddy Gang. Ah, he says Daddy Masterson's gang is called the Butt Buddy Gang. The ass fucking gang. <laughs> Cheers! Jimbo. I like that. Jimbo. I've always wanted to meet a Jimbo. My God, what's up, Jimbo? Anthony Timmons on our first look at Ghost in the Thunderbolt says, Honestly, I don't even remember much about this character, except that it always reminded me of something out of a video game from Destiny. It does look like something out of Destiny. I'm not going to lie. I have zero interest in any of this ass that Marvel is producing now. Anyways, cheers, son. Cheers, Timmons. I feel the same way. The good Marvel died already with Tony Stark. That's just what it is. The only thing that's just saving it and holding it together by a th single little thread is a little boy, little virgin ass, pink booty hole boy named Tom Holland. He's holding this whole universe together with his star power and raw talent. But I'm telling you, he's tired of this ass. And he's gonna move on. He's gonna get Zendaya pregnant. Be a be a be a stay-at-home dad. He says he wants he wants to stay at home while she goes and makes all the money for the household. He's ready to give it all away. Put up his spider trunks. Say fuck you, Marvel. Your movies are shitty. You're embarrassing yourselves. I'm out. And I think he should. He should just when the ship is sinking, you quit and you leave it. Or you start a ruckus so he can fire you or you fucking just fuck up, you know? Fuck him. The ship's going down. Let's destroy some of it before it goes down and shit. Set something on fire. I'm just saying. Cheers, Timmons. Thank you for commenting. Oh, Gomer Kyle. Uh, the Denise Richards is a self-made woman. I'm gonna play your intro again, Gomer, because uh, just because you just came up on the comments suddenly. Here we go. Oh shit! What did I do here? I pressed all the wrong buttons. Sorry. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pile. I'm gonna give you three seconds to wipe that stupid-looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Cheers, Gomer. Thank you for being here, and thank you for commenting, as always. Gomer says, uh, and I move this, of course. I was fucking with it. Press a button. Gomer says, on the Denise Richards is a self-made woman. Uh, holy shit, before I even read it, 
Something amazing just happened on the goddamn comments. I have to stop the whole fucking show because Jose Trevino just showed up. Let me hit it for this asshole straight out of Houston, Texas. Repita su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Tienes envidia, puto. Ha <laughs> ha, Cheers, you motherfucker. Cheers. You're the shit. We love you. Um, Gomer says on the Denise Richards self-made woman video. That was a party all of a sudden. I still haven't read the comment, I know. That was a party right there all, all on its own and shit. <laughs> we threw a party there for you, Joe. Cool, you sell them, bitch. <laughs> all right, all right. Back to reading the comment, right? Reading the comment and shit. I'm not paying. Uh, I'm not paying that when I've already seen her. She was nude in Wild Things too. Plus, she was in Playboy. She was younger than two. Anyways, cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Live. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and Indie Phantom said, I uh, replied to him, I need to get those Playboy pics. Hashtag. <laughs> Fucking Indie Phantom. They're out there, folks. I've seen them. Uh, but you don't have to pay for to see your naked on OnlyFans. Just type OnlyFans leaks <laughs> and they come out. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. That's how I got them for the channel. Trevino, thank you for being here at Texas, Houston, motherfucker, you son bitch. Cheers. <laughs> Hell yeah, bros. Now it's a party. Now it's a party. I got a fellow Texan here, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, there we go. On the Diddy video, Matt Cook, he says, You look like Madonna without her adrenal chrome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I bet you a Madonna would look like me without if she fucking didn't do her adrenal chrome. Imagine what I would look like if I did adrenal chrome. Holy shit. I would probably look like Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. Fuck. It'd be badass. Maybe even Justin Bieber. You never know. Oh, no. Uh one of these days, Regina Chrome will be available at a corner of every store. Just you wait. For right now, it's only for the elite. Right? But it's coming. It's coming. Don't worry about it. We're all going to be the same. Cheers, Matt Cook. Thank you for commenting. You got it. Oh, Joe Trevino commented. And you know what? I'm gonna play your fucking intro again because it's so badass and shit, and I like dancing to it. Ah, right, here we go, Joe Cool. Repita su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, <laughs> Joe, Joe Trevino says, What up, young buck? I mean, AW, I mean, gay. Just kidding. Son, I had to take a dig at your boys in I am EW. They just signed their death certificates with that nonsense best stage video. We're going to talk about it later, you son of a bitch. Uh, uh, we are, we are, we are. I'm assuming you saw it. Anyways, I was out of town visiting family, so I wasn't able to catch the live stream. You did a great P. Diddy. All right, all right. Let me, he put a timestamp. Let me see my impersonation because I didn't see it. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he does it. 
Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he says, "Have you heard him on Drink Champs when he was flirting with the rapper Fabulous?" Yes. Yeah. I I had too many videos last week. Uh, that was a video that I was gonna put, but then I was like, "Ah, oh, it's too long," and I already said too much. So I'm like, "Don't worry about it." But yes, he's being super gay. <laughs> He's hitting on everybody. He's hitting everybody. It is embarrassing because he's drunk. And you could tell he's drunk. And because he probably doesn't forget. He thought he didn't. I don't know. He's drunk. He doesn't care. I'm gay. And, he, and he's just fucking harassing everybody and shit. It's fucked up. And he says, it was embarrassing. I thought that Mo was cool in the 90s. And my buddy back then said, that's gay. Anyways, great show as usual. Hashtag. Live. Uh, hashtag. Uh, where is it? I got this motherfucker. Hashtag. World order. Uh, yeah. One more time, cause he put hashtag WWO. Hashtag. World order. Ah, uh, yeah. That's how we do in this channel, bitches. All right, all right. Don't worry. We're talking about it tonight. I mean, yeah. On the Danny Masterson video, uh, started a gang. Frank Savage. He has to do something to pass the time. Well, he does. You either masturbate for everybody for money, but you also run the risk of somebody wanting to rape you because you're already teasing them. Or, uh, you know, you can, uh, fucking, you know, I guess you lift weights and shit. I mean, I guess everyone else tries to do that, but, you know, the bigger guys are got all the good weights, so you're just gonna have to be doing push-ups and sit-ups like an idiot. Uh, so I don't know, man. Yeah, start a gang. That's a good, that's a good side hustle there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Frank Savage. Appreciate you in your comment. And I like your avatar. It's like this fucking, like, one of those fucking kid... Batman's the little R R R R kids Batman. It's badass. I like it. I don't know how to say the word because you can't say words nowadays, so I'm just saying R kids. You can make whatever you want out of that. Anyways, Jessica Alba joins Deadpool and Wolverine on you guys saying that his name is Dawaf. The wax facts. The wax facts. It's got some kind of teddy bear who's angry on his avatar. I've been wanting to tap since Idle Hands. He's talking about Jessica Alba. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? Since you fucking mentioned Idle Hands, because I'm gonna be honest with you, that's the first time I ever saw Jessica Alba. She was, I mean, ugh, I must have fucking masturbated to her in that movie so many times. I mean, I think that VHS, I fucking broke it because I kept on rewinding and pausing it and shit. Rewinding and pausing it, rewinding and pausing it. It was awesome. Um, I did something special for you. The wax facts. And actually something special for all of us. I'm bringing us the best of Jessica Alba. Underground broadcast style. For a few, for, for, for under a minute. Here we go. Cheers, Dewak, the Dewak Facts, and cheers to Jessica Alba. Oh, yeah. That's what I talk about, motherfuckers. The best of Jessica Alba. Cheers. Ain't nobody got nothing on this. Hmm. And I gotta get a beer. And I'll let you guys enjoy this for a minute while I get another beer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just natural, perfect Latina heat. Sons of bitches. Oh, but she saw how perverted and crazy Hollywood was. I mean, she was willing to go far, but not too far. And she said, all right, I got my money. I'm out of here. I'm done fucking jerking fat men off, off to get roles in movies. I got my money now, motherfuckers. She left. Cheers to Jessica Alba and her sexiness. And, and her years of sexiness. 
And you know what? I kind of want to know what her mother looks like. Her mother must be fucking hot. That's all I'm going to say. To give birth to this, you know the mom's got it going on. Oh, yeah, dang! <laughs> oh, that was badass. Hey, cheers to the wax facts for that. That that would have never been possible or never would have happened if that motherfucker hadn't let that comment. <laughs> All right, all right. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Don't worry. She looks exactly the same, Trevino. She, exactly the same. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, Super Saiyan Joku. Oh, yeah. I'm going to play his intro again. <laughs> I want to have the world. The world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> Cheers, Joku. He says on the Diddy uh, video, doesn't Diddy realize that he has daughters? Hang on. Excuse me, guys. I had to sneeze as I was reading the comment. That sucked ass. Anyways. Uh, doesn't Diddy realize that he has daughters and what goes around comes around? And he puts comes with a C-U-M. <laughs> Especially on the face. Hey, even the boys. They're gonna have to take that, take that, take that. Cheers, small flowers. Hashtag. Live. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Joku. They've all, they probably all have already taken that, taken that, taken that. All right. They had, they were into parties. They were fucking drugging their own friends for their dads and shit, participating in these fucking Roman orgies, gay orgies and shit. All right, the condition from little kids. I heard the stories, Illuminati stories. People that broken out of the family say, "Fuck you, this is not normal." But I've heard the stories. Hey, you're asleep when you're like four or five years old in the middle of the night. A bunch of hooded figures come and they fucking wake you up and they take you down to the basement and you don't see none of their faces because their faces are covered with masks. And the things they do to you, it's conditioning every night. Every Friday night on a full moon, they take you down there. A bunch of people, and they're your teachers and neighbors and shit, and your uncles and aunts and fucking dads and moms, and they're all doing this shit to you. So what they, this is what happens, small fucker. You think I'm lying? It's all out there. All these videos were taken down from YouTube because they don't want you to know the truth. Illuminati does this. They condition their children for the beginning. This is normal. This is how we live. This is why we have power and money. That's what they do. Those sick sons of bitches. The stories are out there. You fucking look for them. They are out there. You think I'm lying, you sons of bitches. I'm not. All right. Anyways, we're moving on. Cheers, Joku. Empty Phantom commenting. You know I'm going to play this fucking Canucks fucking intro. Here we go. And the Phantom says, on the Denise Richards is a self-made woman. Oh, yeah. Son, I looked for you in the eclipse. Oh, yeah, that's badass, bro, dude. I don't know if you all saw the eclipse, bro. I, okay, the last time, because I've been in the path. Of, oh, this, is, this, this time I was right in the center of the path. But the last time I was in the edge. And the last time... I did, it was, I think it was last year, sometime in August or September. I don't remember what it was. But the last time, it, it, didn't, it didn't cover it all where I was. It was only like part of it. So the sun was still shining. It got kind of gloomy, but the sun was still shining. But if you used the glasses, you could see that the moon was actually covering some of it. I used the glasses and shit. This time around, the eclipse where I live, 
was right in the center. And so they said that I was going to see it turn to nighttime. And I said, I've always said, that's bullshit. There's no way in hell it's going to look like nighttime. There's no way in hell. It's probably just a little d dim. Like, they're lying. Like, there's no way in hell. Because I've, I've heard stories, but I had never experienced it. <laughs> that morning, I had the glasses. And my sister mailed them to me. I, I She had a bunch, and she sold, mailed me some. I had the glasses. And, that, and the last time, also, I took out my phone, and I tried to fucking... Take a picture or video of the last the last eclipse, and it didn't come out on my phone. And then I put the glasses over the film because I thought, well, maybe it needs the glasses. I put the glasses over the film of the phone, of the lens, and it still didn't come out at all. And my fucking brother in law, who's a nerd about photography and videos and shit like that, he was telling me that because of the new phones and the way the photography or some ass, you are not gonna come out. Period. You need a special kind of camera. And lens. And none of the phones, and none of the thing you have is going to be able to capture. He goes, I have a bunch of shit and I'll be able to capture it, but you won't. And I said, well, fuck you and all that shit. And so this time around, I said, man, I was fucking, I'm not like, fuck my phone, you know? And I, I walked outside when it's, when it was about to start and I put the glasses on and I'm looking at it and you know, there's still sunlight. And the moon's sort of covering it. And then all of a sudden, I guess enough time passes by that the moon actually covered the entire sun. And I took my glasses off because I was curious. And I swear to you, man, I regret not having my phone. <laughs> because I swear to you, it was nighttime. It looked like fucking 9 p.m. at night. And I was like, and the birds that have that were standing on the on the telephone posts and on the on the on the on the uh, electric lines, they were freaking the fuck out and they were all chirping uncontrollably because they couldn't understand why all of a sudden it turned nighttime. They were fucking freaking out. Um and I looked up at the sun without the glasses and you didn't need the glasses at that point the sun was a black sphere no light you could just literally see a black sphere in the sky black dark and then dude i'm not playing around the actual black sphere the sun i guess it was i don't know how to explain it it was dark enough that their stars shone out. I saw stars around and I was all like, the stars are now visible. There's no sunlight. It lasted for like three minutes, maybe. It was long, it felt forever. And I was like, it's nighttime. I was kept looking around and I was like, it's nighttime. The fucking stars are out. There's a black moon a black star in the sky and then as soon as the moon was moved a little bit out you know just a little bit just a fraction that little bit and you had to put the glasses on because it was too bright you looked up and it was just a little bit that was peeking out that light all of a sudden shone and that little bit of light was a lot of light and I was amazed at how bright the sun is. I was like, that's a lot of light. It even feels like maybe it's a spotlight right where I'm at. It's like a small little spotlight where I'm at. But I'm like, it, it's a lot of light for just that little peak that's peeking out. The sun is really powerful, I felt, all of a sudden. Uh, yes, I saw the eclipse and I was right in the center, motherfuckers. Uh, cheers to y'all. I regret not having my phone. But at the same time, I kind of am happy I didn't have my phone because I think I would have been too occupied trying to get the perfect this and this and that and social media. And I wouldn't have fucking really. Dude, I felt like. I can't even explain to you. It was cool. And I, 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 I wish everybody could experience that. It was really cool. Uh, that's all I'll say. 
But anyways, let me read the comments because we've been taking too damn long and I'm really high going on a trip with my feelings and shit. That's not the kind of channel. We're getting drunk and high. Cheers. Indie Phantom says, son, I look for you in the eclipse. Oh, fuck only horse. Denise Richards went from wild things to porn kings. On only, only fools. I think that's what he was trying to say. Is trashing the internet, but you know that Charlie Sheen is paying for that shit. Cheers, son. Cheers. Charlie Sheen already paid for that shit. I, that little girl's over 18. He's done paying for them. They're on their own. That's why they're doing this pornography. This is because they're on their own. <laughs> Cheers. Plus, he has AIDS and does crack. How much money could he have? Not that much. Uh, let me make sure this is the last comment. I think it is. Yes, it is. Cheers to all of you who commented tonight. I appreciate you, motherfuckers. We read an hour of comments. That was a lot of fucking comments because of that piece of shit Danny Masterson that went that made us go viral and ass. But you know, send me stuff to my Twitter and uh, social medias, Instagram and TikToks. I have the stuff right up here. Whatever you send me, I'll show. Even if it's just you hanging out with your friends or whatever, some ass. You don't know, fucking. You found some some dead frog on the floor, reminded you of something. I don't know. I'll post it here. Our channel sucks. I'm just trying to come up with content. You know what I'm saying? Cheers to you all. And thank you for commenting. Thank you for the comments and shit. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.